What's up, YouTube? Welcome to my channel. I have a new upgrade for all you Air Force air gun owners out there, and I'm super excited about it. Right here, in my hand, I have an Air Force air valve power planner. Yep, you heard it right. I have a power planner for the Air Force air gun platform. Here we go. This power plenum adds an additional 30 cc's of air behind your valve for an increased volume of airflow through your air valve. This 30 cc power plenum works in, in addition to your regulator for an overall larger volume of air. The larger volume of air will allow you to shoot heavier pellets and slugs, shoot smaller pellets or slugs at higher velocities. <clears throat> this power planner is an FX power planner, customized specifically for the Air Force air gun valve. Now this is a product of PCP tunes. It was customized at my request for the Air Force air gun platform and it will be on the market for sale real soon. Before I get into velocities and numbers, let me assure you that this is a good product. Again, it is a 30cc FX plenum. It handles up to 400 bar of pressure. It has been tested and it has been customized for the Air Force air gun valve assembly. Now here's how it works. You install the plenum into the pressure gauge port of the air valve assembly. So you must remove the air pressure gauge. It comes with Teflon tape to ensure a leak-free seal. Okay. So when the hammer strikes, an extra cc of air is released behind your air valve, which works in conjunction with the air released from your regulator's plenum, yielding higher velocities. Yes, sir. Before installing the power plenum, please make sure you, you degas, okay? Make sure you degas your air bottle. Now let's get down to what you all been waiting for, the numbers before installing and after installing the plenum. Let's start with the numbers before installing the plenum. All right, guys, here we are. My regulator is at 150 bar. My bottle pressure is just past 200 bar. My power meter and power wheel are set at one. I'm shooting the JSB Exact King 25.39 grain pellets. Here we go. Shot number one. 901. Shot number two. 885. Shot number three, 882. Shot number four, 884. Shot number five, 885. Shot number six, 891. Shot number seven, 885. Okay guys, here we are. An average of 887 feet per second. Again, these are regulated shots from my Alteros regulator without the power plenum. Here we are with the power plenum installed. The built-in gauge shows my regulator at 150 bar. Also, this is a view of what the power plenum looks like installed. I'm topped off with air again, just at 200 bar or a little over. Same exact settings, power meter and power wheel. Same exact JSB pellets, 25.39 grain pellets. Here we go. Shot number one, 942. Shot number two, 947. Shot number three, 945. Shot number four, 948. Shot number five. 950, 
shot number six. 945, shot number seven. 942, shot number eight. 950, for an average of 946 feet per second. There you have it, 946 feet per second with the same exact settings and pellet. That, my friends, is a substantial increase. The average velocity with the power plenum is 946 feet per second. And comparing the numbers with and without the power plenum, you can see that the power plenum gives me an extra 59 feet per second. I went from an average velocity of 887 feet per second to an average velocity of 946 feet per second with the same exact power settings. I am really looking forward to putting this power plenum to use in the field. I believe this is going to perform great for long range shooting at high velocities. I believe this power plenum is going to uh, give me the ability to shoot heavier slugs at higher velocities and dump more energy into my quarry downrange. I'm going to have to do some testing to see how a power plenum will work with my 4500 PSI carbon fiber bottle and my 200 bar PCP tunes high power regulator. If my thoughts are correct and adding the power plenum to my high power setup, I'm going to guess that I'm going to be using an awful lot of air shooting those slugs down range. It may not even be worth it, but we'll see. Now guys, being that this was my idea, the logistics to sell the plenum is in negotiations. However, I have added the link for the Air Force Air Valve Power Plenum in the description down below if you're interested and want more information. Also, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Thanks for tuning in. And if you like this video, please leave a like. And don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. Until next time, guys. Happy hunting and shoot straight.